just doing a quick video here. I get a lot of questions about what concrete I use for my statues. And this is the concrete I use right here. It's the fast setting concrete mix you get at Home Depot or Lowe's. Now you might notice you can get the yellow bags, but that's really slow. And if you use the yellow bags, you're going to have to wait a few days to be able to pull your statues. With this fast setting concrete, I can pour pour a statue and pull it in two or three hours. And I've actually poured up to four statues in one day with this concrete. So here's some of the statues here that I make. And here's the molds. So I'm going to be pouring the fast setting concrete into these molds today. And um, so there's a lot of people out there, you know, they use the yellow bags of concrete and that works fine if you don't mind waiting a few days for it to cure. Um, some people also make their own concrete mix with sand, aggregate and cement. That's fine too, but I like the red bags because they're really fast. Um, so I'll just do a quick video here on how I pour my molds and how I pour them and get no air bubbles or very little air bubbles. So before we pull the mold, pour the molds, um, there's two things. We have to put a mold release spray on here. So that's, I use rubbing alcohol and castor oil. So it's about one part castor oil to 10 parts alcohol. Now not castor motor oil, this is actually castor oil, uh, oil used to rub on your hands. All right, so we mix that in a bottle. The alcohol dilutes the castor oil. We mix that up and we put it in a sprayer and we just give it a light mist. You just wanna get a light mist just to get it damp. And then we're gonna let that dry out. And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna help the rubber with the castor oil and it's gonna keep the concrete from sticking to it. And the other thing we have to do is for some of our taller pieces, we're gonna stick some wires into the neck area because we don't want the head to snap off especially when the concrete's fresh that's also going to help us to enable to pull the statues a little bit quicker so for instance this really big guy he's about three bags i can pour him and i'll probably let him sit a little bit longer the little guys you can pull in about two hours but the bigger guy i'm probably going to let sit for about five hours and i'll be able to pull him later and that's another reason i love using the fast concrete it's so quick that you know um, I can have statues coming out in the same day. Um, this guy right here, he's kind of round, so I don't need to stick any wires in the head. This one's got a short, a very thin neck, so I stuck some wires in there. I have a gargoyle here, and the same thing, I stuck wires in the ears and wings. And, yeah, this one here, I stuck uh, wires in this one, and that is this one right here. Okay, so the next thing to do is gonna to be to mix up my concrete to the manufacturer's specifications. And then I'm gonna pour it in the molds. And one thing we have to do is after we pour it, we're gonna shake the mold and we're gonna hit it with a mallet. And then that's gonna shake out the air bubbles. When we're pouring our concrete, we wanna make sure we follow the manufacturer's specifications for the mixing ratio. We don't want uh, to water it down too much because we're gonna make the concrete weak. And you can water it down a little bit. Like if it says add three liters of water, you know, maybe add three and a half to make it a little easier, but don't be adding too much extra water because that is gonna make the concrete really weak and crumbly. We wanna have, uh, keep the concrete, um, keep the concrete strength. And this concrete works very well. I've had quite a few different people. Um, you know, everyone has a different way that they do this. Some people they use the regular yellow concrete some people they mix their own concrete and they say that it's stronger and better um, i've had statues i made with this three years ago they're still outside they've never been brought inside and they still are 100 percent strong so i've had great success with the quick crete I got my concrete mixed up and I want to pour this fast because it's going to set really fast. So we're going to fill it halfway. And then I'm just going to shake it back and forth as I hit it with a mallet. And this is going to take out the air bubbles. Alright, I'm going to pour this bigger guy. I know I should be wearing gloves right now, but due to what's going on right now, I can't find gloves anywhere for sale. So I'm gonna fill it up. 
film just under just over halfway and I'm going to shake it like this and that's going to get the air bubbles out. <laughs> now if you have a little bit of leftover concrete it's a good time to toss it in. Okay, so this is all finished. I gotta let this sit for three or four hours and I'll be able to pull him later today. That's good. Okay, I got all my statues poured here. Now if you have a look, within 10 minutes of pouring this, it's already rock hard. So in about two hours, this will be cured enough that I can remove the statue from the mold. And then we're not gonna wanna do anything with that. We're gonna let that sit for a day or two to cure. But at least then, um, you'll be able to pour three or four or five statues in a day using the fast concrete. If you have any questions, comment below. I'll get right back to you. Um, also, too, I'd like to hear about your method of mixing concrete for a statuary. All right, it's been a couple hours. I'm going to demold it. All right, so that's with the fast concrete after two hours. A couple of little air bubbles I can touch up, but other than that, it's totally fine. So I'm going to let that cure for about a day now, and he should be good to go.